campaign daily for the recovery of our country, of our land against the coronavirus, and also that the Lord will restore our country to its unity that it was founded on. And we'll continue in our prayer today for our poor souls in purgatory. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Angelus Prayer. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth through the sea, the O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to our Lady of Guadalupe. Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels and Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your Son, as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving Mother, and gain for our nation and world, and for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother, health of the sick, and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your son, Jesus. Amen. Anima Christi, soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me, blood of Christ, fill me with love, water from the side of Christ, wash me, passion of Christ, strengthen me, good Jesus, hear me, within your wounds, hide me, never let me be parted from you, from the evil enemy, protect me, at the hour of my death, call me, and tell me to come to you, that with your saints, I may praise you, through all eternity. Amen. We continue on our eighth day of our novena to for the poor souls in purgatory, and today we meditate and reflect with the following. Souls that have been cleansed of sin by the flames of purgatory are well aware that their sins could have condemned them to an eternity of suffering. Only through the divine grace and loving mercy of God have they been pardoned and spared from the hell that they deserve. Let us pray. O oh my God, I also am one of these ungrateful beings, having received so much grace and yet despise thy love and deserve to be cast by thee into hell. By thy infinite goodness, you have spared me until now. Therefore, I now love thee above all things, and I am heartily sorry for having offended thee. I will rather die than offend thee again. 
grant me the grace of holy perseverance. Have compassion on me, dear Lord, and at the same time on the holy souls suffering in purgatory. Mary, Mother of God, come to their aid with thy powerful intercession. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer to our suffering Savior for the souls in purgatory. O most sweet Jesus, through the bloody sweat which you did suffer in the Garden of Gethsemane, have mercy on these blessed souls. Have mercy on them, O Lord. O most sweet Jesus, through the pains which you did suffer during your most cruel scourging, have mercy on them. Have mercy on them, O Lord. O most sweet Jesus, through the pains which thou didst suffer in thy painful crowning with thorns, have mercy on them. Have mercy on them, O Lord. O my sweet Jesus, through the pains which you did suffer in carrying your cross to Calvary, have mercy on them. Have mercy on them, O Lord. O most sweet Jesus, through the pains which you did suffer during your most cruel crucifixion, have mercy on them. Have mercy on them, O Lord. O most sweet Jesus, through the pains which you did suffer in your most bitter ag agony on the cross, have mercy on them. Have mercy on them, O Lord. O most sweet Jesus, through the immense pain which you did suffer in breathing forth your blessed soul, have mercy on them. Have mercy on them, O Lord. Blessed souls, we have prayed for you, we entreat you, who are so dear to God, and who are secure of never losing him, to pray for us, miserable sinners, who are in danger of being damned and of losing God forever. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And it is my intention as it is each time we gather in prayer, not only to bless those who are physically present with me in the church, but also those who are spiritually united with me in this prayer. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even until the end of time. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me in prayer. I do look forward to praying with you again very, very soon. God bless you and continue to enjoy this beautiful 
Sunday day. God bless you.